So I saw a fascinating article in Politico the other day, how Trump is hunting down the GOP's leading families. In his attempt to exercise full dominion over the Republican Party, Donald Trump has reserved a special fury for the dynasties that helped shape it, by David Siders. In it, Mr. Siders notes that Trump is now working overtime to remove anyone who might, in any fashion, challenge his control of the GOP. Thus, says the article, the former guy has directed his vitriol and, fin and his fanatical followers at such political clans as the Bushes, the Cheneys, the McCains, the Romneys, and, well, anybody else who has a remote claim to being among the party's historical grandees. I find this disturbing and worrying because, say what you like about them, these people and their families have done a great deal to shape and maintain America's center-right politics and the Republican Party for decades. For them to be so unceremoniously and so completely flush from the ranks of the faithful is sad and frightening. We are seeing what was once a great party, the GOP, transformed into a mere cult of personality. And what happens, I wonder, when Trump himself is no longer there to head it up? So, a memo to the Bushes, the Cheneys, the McCains, the Romneys, etc. For God's sake, wake up. Unite and fight back now while there is still time. Because the parties your families helped guide for so long will be merely a memory. And you yourselves? Who is to say that hunting you down will remain in an age of Trump? Merely a metaphor. Until next time, onward and upward.